Hi, welcome back to the review of the uh, the Bontec extruder for the Prusa Mini. Uh, so, as we saw in the last video, the extruder is now fitted, and I've run a test print just to see what it's like. Um, in fact, I've got a before and after here: one with the standard extruder and one with the Bontec extruder. To be honest, I can't really see any difference. Um, they, 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 they look exactly the same, so I'm not seeing any performance difference. The only difference I do see is this hole here. Uh, they're both rough, uh, but with my Mark III behind me, I get perfect circles, nice and smooth. So it just shows that the Mini does not print, unfortunately, as good as the Mark III. But comparing the Prusa original extruder and the Bontec, I'm not seeing any improvement. So if you're, if you're just doing it just for a quality improvement, I don't think that's particularly worth it, in my opinion. Um, but I didn't get it for the quality, this extruder. I got it because of the clicking noise that uh, I was getting from the Prusa extruder. Now I don't get the clicking noise anymore and I'll try and insert a clip if I can here. What I get is more of a, a whooping noise. Strange, so one noise replaced with another, but it's not as, as intense as the clicking noise that I was getting, so it's easier to live with. Is it worth the, oh, what, 65 pounds that it, it cost me? Mm, not sure about that either. But it, it, it is quieter, it is more subtle, but you do get a noise still on uh, retraction. It's not silent, as I was originally led to believe that it would be completely quiet. Every time there is a retraction, you do get a noise coming back. So, as I say, I'll, I'll try and fit that uh, insert in, if I can. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, once you've fitted the extruder, uh, when you load filament, you'll find it will not go all the way. Mine finished just about here. Uh, on, on a standard load, uh, you do have to add um, some E steps in so it's into the G code. I originally thought that it was just a case of adding that into the slicer, so every time you slice a model, it has that code in. But if you just turn the printer on and you want to load filament all the way through to the nozzle. You actually have to put some G-code onto a USB stick and then run that as a print. It appears as a print, so on your main dial you select that particular item that will appear. You click as if you're printing it. Nothing actually happens, but when you then load the filament in from scratch, it will load all the way through to the nozzle. So if you don't run that code, it's not terrible. You'll probably have to do about three purges. So when the printer says, uh, has the filament come through, is the color changed, uh, and you've got the option to purge again, uh, you're going to do that about three times. So that, that's what you will end up doing if you don't run that G-code. But if you run that G-code file as a print, then it'll take the filament all the way through straight to the nozzle. So that's quite nice. Uh, I did actually query this with Bontech and I got a reply within a couple of hours. I was very impressed with their customer service. They actually gave me the uh, G-code file to put on the USB stick, which was good of them. They did also comment about the noise I was getting from the extruder on retraction and suggested that I reduce the retract retraction speeds, which I have done. It's improved it a little bit, but I'm still getting the noise. 
Uh, but overall, I was, I was impressed with their customer service. So that, that, that was nice to see. Um, I think that covers everything really. So fitting it using the extruder, uh, filament loading, unloading actually uh, is a bit smoother as well with this. I always used to have to give the uh, filament a good strong tug when I was unloading on the Prusa extruder. This one, uh, it, once you've uh, done the uh, dismount, I can just pull it quite, quite easily, no hard tugs. So that, that was a nice uh, surprise. My overall assessment, um, if you're having a lot of issues, then it's perhaps worth it. For me, the stock extruder was working perfectly well. So I only had the, the bugbear of the, the clicking noise, but it was extruding fine. I uh, wasn't over extruding or under extruding so the, the stock one was actually working quite well overall no improvement uh, if I was to do it again I, pro well, I probably wouldn't do it again uh, I, I would probably stick with the stock extruder save myself £65 so no, no difference in, in print quality as far as I can see in my particular case other other cases may vary so this is only my opinion um, but it was uh, an easy, easy fit so well done to Bontech for that it went went together nice and straightforward uh, it's a high quality item um, and there we have it I hope these uh, videos have been useful for you thank you very much oh one last thing these items are uh, anti-vibration feet designed to have uh, squash balls fitted in them. I'm going to do a video on uh, various types of anti-vibration, possibly for the Mark III, may also do the Mini. So I'll look at uh, things such as pavers, uh, rubber pads, etc. If you're interested in that, please subscribe and do a like and you'll get notified as soon as the video is done. Thank you very much.